G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. Today, we're getting into another episode of Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. I was hoping Tanya would say Big Bang Theory. That's but not my job. My Big job Bang is Theory. to read the title as, like, yeah, as best, as, 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 you best can. as I can. Season 2, episode 10. It is called... The freaking, freaking Ninja. Here you go. <laughs> They're coming... <laughs> Conundrum. The Vatabedi Conundrum. 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 What the heck does that mean? All right, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. We'd love to see you guys over on Patreon as well, each and every single day. Comment over there as well as YouTube. And don't forget to show all the love and support like you always do in each platform. All right, guys, let's rock and roll. Let's get it. I don't see anything at all. I'm constantly hearing this annoying sound. Me too. That's called Sheldon. Yep, That's no called Sheldon. Then it must be a tumor. Oh, God. It's a lingering bacterial infection from all those childhood toilet swirlies. Is that possible? <laughs> I used to get those all the time, even in church. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you get a swirly in church? It's from a circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you have a cootie shot. I'm going to bed. She's it with that now. Stephanie's not here to treat your imaginary ailments. Uh, I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> Good night. Oh my god. Thing, calling an emergency meeting. Now, I'd like to begin the meeting by congratulating you on the progress in your relationship with Dr. Stephanie. We have to discuss the implementation of the agreed upon cohabitation rider. But we're not living together. Quote, living with, unquote, Leonard, when she has stayed over for A, 10 consecutive nights, or B, more than nine nights in a three week period. Okay. You initialed it, see? L H, L H. I never thought it would happen. <laughs> I initialed another clause naming you my sidekick in case I get superpower. Yes, you did. What about Sheldon? So if Sheldon got superpowers, who's going to be his sidekick? Mm. Let's now get individual shelves and the door becomes communal. Okay. Apartment vacuuming shall be increased from two to three times a week to accommodate the increased accumulation of dead skin cells. The bathroom schedule and women have different needs, so we'll have to discuss that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Take this with you. Look, and have Stephanie initial. Oh my God. <laughs> I love how, how Leonard eventually just says, you know what, stuff it. Just, <laughs> I'm going to get her to sign it. You're so annoying, dude. <laughs> I love how he's just like used to it now, like, oh, my God. He's not going to stop until I do it anyway. Yeah, so exactly. Just do it as soon as possible. <laughs> exactly. Sure sounds like a tumor pressing on the auditory nerve. Oh, God. Absolutely not. My girlfriend is not going to give you a prostate exam. What? Hi, Sheldon. Good morning, Dr. Stephanie. I trust Leonard satisfied you sexually last night. Oh, my God. Honest Sheldon, to God, we dude. we don't ask questions like that. He did very nicely. She's not offended. And now you finally have an answer. You need coffee. Hello. Stephanie, right? Honey, I live across the hall. I haven't heard a thing about you. <laughs> Just keep mixing, just keep mixing, just keep mixing, 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 just keep mixing. Leonard, haven't I heard a thing about this woman who lives across the hall and comes into your apartment in the morning? I never slept with her, I swear. <laughs> Wasn't for lack of trying. Thank you, Sheldon. In our building, neighbors, come and go. Mornings, I'll just mosey down on the third floor in my pajamas and have cereal with Mrs. Vardabedian. I've never once been invited to have cereal with Mrs. Vardabedian. She doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> you have a gallbladder to remove? Teddy has clothes to put on. So. Well, it was very nice meeting you. Nice to finally meet you, too. <laughs> Awkward. What could I possibly have done to offend Mrs. Vardabedia? <laughs> That's Stephanie, huh? Why do I feel like I'm the one that just got the prostate exam? <laughs> <laughs> she seems very nice. Oh, she is. She's terrific. Yeah, and she's proving to be a valuable roommate. You guys are living together? Like hippies. <laughs> like hippies. <laughs> We're not living together. Let's find out. Uh -oh. Don't you think if a woman was living with me, I'd be the first one to know about it? You'd be the last one to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Cute dresses. I bet this looks great on you. We're not living together. Scented candle. Ooh, floral bed. Uh, who are these guys at Disney World? I have no idea. We're not living together. We got your body lotion. You're in Style Magazine. Where's my bat signal? Uh -oh. You have a bat uh -oh. signal? I did. That's it. She's gone. It's right here. Never touch a man's bat signal. In the bean. Uh -oh. oh my god, we're living together. Really? What was your first clue? The bat signal. 
Okay. New detergent. Hey, Stephanie got them for me. The girlfriend's buying clothes for you, huh? Sounds serious. Gave it a lot of thought, and I decided it was time for us to live together. Okay. Are you oh, sure that was your decision? Huge. There's a whole buffet of women out there, and you're eating the same deviled egg. At least I have an egg. What do you have? A veritable smorgasbord of potential sexual partners. You mean of potential sexual lawsuits? Exactly. That's as close he's going to be getting to a lot of them. There's probably 2% that are desperate like pennies, right? See the blonde over there? I can hit on her and you can't. Do it. So go hit on her. It's <laughs> not my type. Yeah, sure. Too bad because she was checking you out before she was. Of course not. Look at her. <laughs> I don't care what you guys think. Yeah. Stephanie and I are very happy living together. I'll give either of you $20 right now to trade pants with me. Oh, God. Sean, what are you doing here? Is he on 130 over 80. A little high. Where did you get the stethoscope and the blood pressure cup? My aunt Marion gave them to me for my 12th birthday. She thought if I failed at theoretical physics, that I should have a trade to fall back on. <laughs> the blood pressure cuff is called a sphygmo manometer. Teach you that in medical school? I'm kind of busy here, so I, all I need is for you to authorize these tests. Cardiac stress test, a full body MRI, and a last time I had hiccups, it felt like my diaphragm was just going through the motions. Oh my god. Go home, Sheldon. <sighs> Can I at least have the upper GI? That's Sheldon in a oh, nutshell hey. right there. Oh, do you have any fabric softener? Yeah, sure. What are you washing, a crocodile? The pants that Stephanie got me. Sweetie, you can't machine wash these. They'll be ruined. <laughs> oh, no, I wish you'd told me that sooner. <laughs> are you guys having problems? No, everything's fine. Maybe this whole living together happened kind of suddenly, but it's fine. It's great. Penny's put it in his head now, see? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. God damn, Penny. Comfortable with the way things are going, you're allowed to say something. Believe me, your feelings are just as important as hers. Still doesn't, doesn't sound right. right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I concur. I concur. You both are comfortable with. I'll go do that. Thank you. Maybe you could talk to her. You're kidding, right? No, but that's okay. I'll go talk to her. Wow. <laughs> sound like she was a parent. Oh, what the f is going on here? Oh no. <laughs> is terribly inflamed. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> You're going to need to stop talking immediately. So <laughs> smart. That's so smart. Oh, hi, honey. Sheldon. I just performed a Sheldonectomy. Careful, if you don't get it all, it'll only come back worse. Listen, we need to talk. Uh-oh. Yeah, Do we uh -oh. need to talk or do we need to talk? I don't know what that means. Why don't you just tell me what it is you have to tell me? Things between you and me have been going pretty quick. It's just a little scary. Yeah, but scary good, right? Sure. Sure. Perfectly okay to express those feelings, right? Of course, honey. That we move at a pace that is our speed. Huh? How about this? How about I tell you what I'm feeling? Really? Right now? I just ate. Aren't you supposed to wait an hour? False. <laughs> Swimming. Okay. Yeah. He's definitely going cramps. swimming. Yeah. He's gonna go swimming. He's gonna go swimming, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. That's for sure. Pants are ruined. Good. So, how did the talk with Stephanie go? Really well. I did tell her that I had feelings. And then what? The subject got changed somehow. You had sex, didn't you? A little bit. What? Nothing. She's like, that was quick. It sounds like things are gonna work out. Yeah, one way or another. You, you are entitled to try and make things go the way you want them to. You don't always have to go along with what the woman wants. Are you sure about that, mate? What? Nothing, just rethinking my whole life. Okay, I'm afraid that if I ask her to move out, she'll just dump me. If it's meant to be, it'll be. What do I say to her? What have women said to you when they wanted to slow a relationship down? I really like you, but I want to see how things go with Mark. Yeah, that'll slow it down. <laughs> Sorry, I totally interrupted you. What were you saying? Stephanie, here's the thing. I really like you. Oh, God, here comes the speech. What speech? But maybe we should spend a little less time together. Call you on Tuesday, and then you never call me. Then, when I run into you at the coffee shop, you pretend like you've been having problems with your voicemail. And like, Sounds I like she's going through <laughs> it Even though before. I'm dying inside. No, I wasn't going to say any of that. I really like you. <laughs> really like you too. Terrific. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Hey. Nice.
nice sweater. Yeah. Stephanie got it for me. It's kind of fun. Got a big bird on it, dude. <laughs> That's the fun part. Every time I talk to her about moving out, she cries and we have sex. <laughs> You're lucky. With me, it's usually the other way around. You know, if you can't talk to her, why don't you just text her? Kind of cowardly. But on the other hand, you are wearing a bird sweater. Sold. I think it would be better for our relationship if... You moved back to your place. It's done. I'll never have sex again. Uh oh. Oh, I was wrong. See ya. He completely flicked that chair on the floor then. He's like, Oop. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Sheldon? I have an inflamed larynx. We are out of verbal key. Do you have any? Okay, let me check. Some honey. Would be nice. <laughs> Honey. Are you sure he didn't write that on purpose? There's a lot of people I want to play that trick on in this world with freaking <laughs> Sheldon, mate. There's a lot of people I want to do that to. I know. A lot. Um, yeah? I feel uh, sorry for Stephanie. Why? I think she needs a little bit of company and But at the end of the day, if, if he truly does love her, then that won't matter what they say. Yeah. I've always said that if you listen to your friends over your heart and your relationship, then you don't deserve to be in a relationship with that person. No, but you, you know how males are. I yeah. mean, some women too, but males more. They have to, like, they can't let their friends laugh at them and, <coughs> yeah, and treat true. them like they're less just because of something. Yeah, that is true. So they always have to show off in front of their friends. And even if. He loves her if his friends tell him, like, oh, blah, 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 he's going to listen to them, even though the friends are probably jealous because he's got Correct. a girlfriend and he's getting light and they're not. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's the reason. But they make him feel bad to make themselves feel better. So what was Penny's excuse then for making him feel bad? Uh, no, she was just giving him advice. As if, are you like, sure? She literally went into the room and started choosing everything out and nitpicking everything. To make him feel bad. No, I don't think she was trying to do that. She was just trying to make him realize that they were living together. Because mm. I think maybe... But why? People don't do it for a reason. Oh, let me just make sure that you know that you're living together. Because they're friends. Nah, there's a reason behind it. They're friends. There's a reason behind wrong. it. The, right, the writers are trying to plant some seeds here in our brain. Yeah. That's what the writers are doing. No, no, I try... I think... Women like to be right all the time. Oh, don't I? Can no. Don't so, I know right now? She told him literally, really? I'm talking to you right now, and you're trying to be right. See, so I think that was the problem. I know. She wanted I to know. be right. He didn't want to tell her that you're she right. Was right. See, yeah, so you are right. She had to show him proof of it. Does that make you feel good? Yeah, you are you. right. Okay, thank you. I won't stop until you say that I'm right, so you better say it now. <laughs> One advice for males, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure your woman, your missus, your wife, whoever it is, has a fantastic day. At least once, twice, maybe in three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day, say that they're right. Mm -hmm. And you'll see how happy your life is. You left the, to the toilet seat up. You're right, I yeah, did. Yeah, you're right, I did. I'm sorry. You d Yeah, I did. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's it. Yeah, exactly. That's all you need to say, and, and we're fine. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to go watch this in full over Patreon? All the links in the description down below. We're going to watch some more episodes. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.